big day in camp today. The very first scrimmage in full pads. We're joined now by head coach Rob Ambrose. And coach, before the scrimmage today, uh, it was fan day. You got a chance to meet and greet with some of uh, Towson's biggest fans. What was that day like for you? It was really cool. You know, when they told me they wanted to do this the first time, I said, are you sure anybody's actually going to show up? But I'm looking in the stands today, and I can tell you as a former player here, I remember playing in football games where this many people didn't come to a game. And then we got more than that coming to a scrimmage. That's a whole new Towson. You had a whole mix of uh, fans in there, young, old, uh, a lot of team members, families, and all that. And uh, what do you think the day was like for the guys that were sitting there signing autographs? <laughs> it's pretty cool. Not only were they signing autographs, but they're looking at people in the parking lot who are tailgating before a scrimmage. I'd say Division I football is actually here now. It's a great experience. Now let's get uh, into the scrimmage. Uh, I know afterwards you talked to the team, you seemed like you were in a pretty good mood. Uh, what, what do you think the overall performance was like today out of the team? You know, it, it, honestly, we're nowhere near ready to play or win a football game. But you have to build on everything day after day, and you can't go backwards. And the thing that I've charged the, the players and the coaches with is I want to see progression every day. I want to see us get better every day. And for the first time in five years, I can say that's exactly what we're doing. And uh, is, is it perfect? No, there's a whole bunch to be worked on today. And when I go back and watch the film, I'll probably get really ticked about some stuff. But I see the effort, which is there all the time now. I mean, I'm seeing the progress, and I'm not seeing the same mistakes day after day. I, it's, it's a growing progress. It's building. And, yeah, okay, I'm, it's hard to come by. I'm smiling. Now, our good friend Spiro would be mad at me if I didn't ask you what you thought of the play of the quarterbacks today. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm extremely critical of them. I'm always critical of them. They, they, they have the toughest job out here, and it's, they have the toughest job, period, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The whole world looks at them. You know, they're the face of the program. And, and when they don't meet the standards that we've set for them, they can expect to hear about it. But what I really liked, especially out of Pete and Connor today, is they minimized their mistakes. They were efficient running the offense, doing the things we asked them to do. And the offense had success doing it. And, and doing that this early in camp is pretty impressive. You know, you guys heard me say this before. It takes 11 guys on offense for a play to work. One guy can be spectacular on defense, and it looks like a great defensive play. If one guy screws up on offense, you're not going anywhere. So uh, I'd say we're a little ahead of the schedule at the moment. Now, do you think there was a squad that uh, performed maybe better than the other offense, defense, or special teams? No, no, for whatever compliment I just put on the table. There's so much to work on. There's no way anybody's ahead of anybody else. All right, Rob. Well, thank you very much. Got a lot of practice left, and we'll talk again soon. Thanks, and I appreciate you guys bringing the heat today. That was awesome. I needed that a lot. Thanks. For me, it starts when my opponent is still sleeping, when the eyes aren't watching, and silence is all I hear and when the extra rep only matters to me. Because that makes the difference between seeing me coming or not. Are you ready?